Welcome to the China Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. As mainland China seeks more Taiwanese money, why aren't more listening? Chinese researchers hope to create real AI scientists. That security camera and smart doorbell you're using may have some major security flaws. I learned to keep sexist constitutional language about mother's duties at home. Debt markets priced for perfection risk a stumble. As mainland China seeks more Taiwanese money, why aren't more listening? South China Morning Post. Shaixing, a city in China's Xijiang province, has held a four-day networking event aimed at attracting Taiwanese investors to the local software sector. The event, which attracted around 100 Taiwanese business people, is part of China's ongoing efforts to integrate Taiwan economically. However, analysts have said that these efforts will only have a significant impact on firms that already have relationships with China. While many Taiwanese investors have existing operations in China, the number of investors has not increased or decreased significantly over the past few years. The Taiwanese investors in attendance at the Shaixing event already have factories in China and were looking to expand. China's efforts to attract Taiwanese investment are expected to increase this year with a particular focus on integrating the two sides. China views Taiwan as part of its territory and has said it will use force to reunite the two if necessary. Chinese researchers hope to create real AI scientists. South China Morning Post Chinese researchers have developed a new framework that combines prior knowledge with data to train machine learning models. The framework aims to create informed machine learning models that can incorporate knowledge of physical laws and mathematical logic into their output. The researchers believe that by embedding human knowledge into AI models, they can improve their efficiency and ability to make inferences, making them more useful in science and engineering. The team hopes to further develop the framework to allow AI to identify its own knowledge and rules directly from data without human interference. That security camera and smart doorbell you're using may have some major security flaws. CNN A data breach at WISE, a smart home device maker, exposed the personal details of 13,000 customers and their cameras. The incident happened after a third-party partner caused a caching problem on the company's servers. WISE said it was unable to offer detailed information on the breach. The incident came just weeks after consumer reports found that several cheap smart doorbells sold on Amazon and other popular retailers had security flaws that allowed bad actors to hack them and access stored footage. Inexpensive options can also disappear, sometimes pulled from the market a few weeks or months later because companies found a better way to make a buck. I learned to keep sexist constitutional language about mother's duties at home. South China Morning Post Ireland is expected to reject proposals to amend the country's constitution to remove references to the makeup of a family and a mother's duties in the home. Prime Minister Leo Varadkar had urged voters to support the changes, describing the current language as very old-fashioned, very sexist. The results of the referendum are due later on Saturday. Debt markets priced for perfection risk a stumble. Bloomberg Investors are moving up the risk curve and embracing credit as they seek high yields before the Federal Reserve starts to cut interest rates. Money is flowing into junk bonds and high-grade funds have seen the largest weekly inflow since September 2020. Bond managers say it would take a U-turn from the Federal Reserve on interest rate cuts to cause sentiment to turn negative, and that a rotation out of money funds and into debt could cause spreads to narrow further. Sales of junior ranking debt from European peripheral nations are evidence of the reach for returns. Rupert Murdoch, 92, plans to marry for fifth time. Associated Press Media mogul Rupert Murdoch, 92, is engaged to be married for the fifth time. The 67-year-old bride-to-be is Russian-born retired scientist Elena Jukova, who he met last year. Jukova's ex-husband, Alexander Zakov, is a billionaire energy investor and Russian politician. Murdoch's previous marriage to model Jerry Hall ended in 2022 after six years. Murdoch founded the Fox News Channel in 1996 and has also owned the Times of London and the Wall Street Journal, among other outlets. 
He has six children and his family's wealth is estimated at $19 billion. Japanese hens deserve equal concern from Japan's food sellers. Nikkei Asia The vast majority of Japan's farmed animals are subjected to poor welfare conditions, according to a report by World Animal Protection. 95% of laying hens are kept in cramped battery cages, 90% of pork producers use gestation crates and Japanese cattle farmers dehorn their animals without anesthesia. Japanese companies have been criticized for their lack of animal welfare policies, with few adopting cage-free practices or the five freedoms advocated by the World Organization for Animal Health. The report warns that Japanese companies could face reputational risks if they fail to improve animal welfare. Domestic abuse, cultural divide in spotlight after Chinese woman murdered in U.S. South China Morning Post the murder of a Google software engineer in Santa Clara has led to concerns over the stress faced by highly educated immigrants in Silicon Valley. The incident has highlighted the lack of mental health and domestic abuse services available to Asian Americans in the region. The victim and the suspect were both Chinese nationals who had studied at prestigious Chinese and U.S. universities. Experts have suggested that immigrants who have grown up under intense pressure to succeed often find it difficult to cope with setbacks. High levels of job insecurity in the tech industry have also been blamed for increased levels of mental stress. That's all for today's news. Let's take a quick look back at what we've learned. First, China's efforts to attract Taiwanese investment have not been as successful as they had hoped. While some Taiwanese business people attended a networking event in Shaixing, analysts believe that the impact will be limited to those already doing business in China. China's goal of integrating Taiwan economically is facing challenges, as many Taiwanese investors are cautious about expanding their operations. In other news, Chinese researchers are working on developing real AI scientists by combining human knowledge with machine learning models. They hope that by embedding physical laws and mathematical logic into AI, they can improve its efficiency and ability to make inferences. This could have significant implications for the fields of science and engineering. Moving on to technology, a data breach at smart home device MakerWise exposed the personal details of thousands of customers. This incident highlights the security flaws that can exist in these devices, including cheap smart doorbells sold on popular retailers. It's a reminder to be cautious when using these devices and to prioritize security. In Ireland, a referendum to remove sexist language from the constitution regarding a mother's duties at home is expected to be rejected. Prime Minister Leo Varadkar had urged voters to support the changes, but it seems that the current language will remain for now. This decision has sparked debate about gender equality and societal expectations. Shifting to finance, investors are taking on more credit risk as they seek high yields before the Federal Reserve cuts interest rates. This has led to a flow of money into junk bonds and high-grade funds, with bond managers believing that sentiment will remain positive unless the Federal Reserve changes its stance. However, there are concerns that a rotation out of money funds and into debt could lead to narrower spreads. On a lighter note, media mogul Rupert Murdoch, at the age of 92, is set to marry for the fifth time. His bride-to-be is Russian-born retired scientist Elena Jakova. Murdoch's previous marriage to model Jerry Hall ended in 2022. We wish them happiness in their new chapter together. Lastly, a report by World Animal Protection has highlighted the poor welfare conditions of farmed animals in Japan. The majority of laying hens are kept in cramped battery cages, pork producers use gestation crates, and cattle farmers dehorn their animals without anesthesia. Japanese companies have been criticized for their lack of animal welfare policies, which could result in reputational risks if improvements are not made. That's all for today's news summary. Remember, news is not just about being informed, but also about forming opinions and discussing ideas. So, what are your thoughts on today's topics? Do you have any questions? Let's hear from you. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, 
government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email.